In this video, we're going to run through compositions. Now, compositions are basically when you group multiple layers. So what we can do is simply left click and select multiple layers on the canvas or on the timeline. And once it's selected, you can right click and group. And now we've got these multiple layers inside one group or composition. And you can go ahead and resize them and animate the whole group of layers. Now, once you create a composition or a group, you'll be able to see that you can now see the elements inside the group on the settings panel for your main group. So this enables you to quickly make edits uh, without having to go inside the group. So let's say you want to replace the media, you can go ahead and select a different video. Let's go back over here. And you can also make adjustments to the text. Let's say you want to type in, for example, groups. You can go ahead and just type it here. And if you want to go into more options, you can simply click on the label. So for the text, you can simply select text and you can make edits to the text. You can change the font and you've got a whole bunch of other settings here as well. Now, if you want to make more advanced editing, editing, what you can do is go into the group by simply double clicking on the group. And now you're about to see that you're inside the group and you can make adjustments to each in, uh, individual layer. Now, what you can also do is manually adjust the boundaries of your group. So if you deselect your layers by simply clicking on the canvas over here you're about to see you've got group settings boundaries so what i can do is basically select a different type of resolution let's say i want to go with facebook and that gives me a square resolution for my boundaries you can also edit manually the boundaries of your group by simply you know simply selecting this like so i'm going to go ahead with facebook so i've got a square resolution and I'm going to go back over to my main timeline and you'll be able to see that there isn't really anything updated on the canvas but you can now see that the boundaries are square like so. So what we can do is to be able to make the most of the boundaries is simply select masked over here and when you mask the group you'll be able to see now that the media or layers outside of the boundaries that we created are now hidden. And this is really cool because you can also, once you mask a group, you can go ahead and adjust the border radius like so. And with a square, you can make it into a circle like this. And if I go back into the group and I select this layer, I'm going to go ahead and add a position animation. And you have to see that it slides in like so. And because we've masked this group, you won't see the text animate on the side. So now it's masked inside the group. And yeah, this enables you to create some really cool masking animations. And yeah, basically it gives you some more options in working with your groups. So those are the main options uh, in working with groups. You can also add animations onto your groups as well to animate a whole bunch of layers together. And yeah, this is just a quick tutorial on working with compositions.